I want to get your reaction to that Jay Powell news conference, what he had to say, and also how does that impact what you say has been a move to these cyclical sectors? I'm talking about sectors like financials and industrials that have certainly outperformed over the last couple months. Yeah, well, I think, you know, Jay Powell basically was was down the middle. I thought it was, you know, if you had to pick a side, it leaned a little bit dovish, if only because he explicitly kept, you know, the, the rate hike conversation off the table, which was the big kind of like tail risk, risk off event was if they brought that back into the picture because of the stickiness, because of the structural nature of the inflation that they're battling. Um, so, so you know, I know the, the risk off move into the afternoon yesterday, but as far as how it impacts the cyclical sectors that we've we've seen kind of pop here over the last couple of months, I, I think it, you know, reinforces what we see, which is that they're being driven less by the anticipation of rate cuts and more okay. about just a strong underlying economy, right? And so we, we still think right, that so we can Ross, add to those I, I want to ask you about something else. Sorry to yeah. interrupt, but we only have you just for a few minutes. Sure. Um, Mohamed al Arian, uh, well-known here on CNBC, made some comments about the Fed decision yesterday, saying in part, he worries that given how reactive this Fed has become in its policy reaction function, it may well end up too hawkish for overall economic well-being, given the ongoing set of domestic and international structural transitions. Agree or disagree with that take? Yeah, I think they could definitely skew too hawkish. I mean, my, my primary take over the last couple of months has been that the last mile here in inflation is almost entirely about housing. And part of the problem with housing is that rates are too high. And so... Uh, if they play that wrong, they could end up way too restrictive. And, you know, I think that their kind of history is stay, stay hawkish too long and then have to cut aggressively when something breaks. So I think okay. they could be easing policy now, but I don't think it's a problem. They're not. All right. One more thing to bounce off your Ross. Uh, Jeff Gunlock yeah. uh, from Double Line Capital here on CNBC. He had this to say about fixed income. I want to get your view on what he said and your view on fixed income very quickly after this. This is a pretty good environment. The type of strategy that we've been advocating and implementing is, seems like it's going to keep working. It's been working really well for the past six months. And, and that is you know, that you can get pretty good yields by investing in securities in the fixed income market that aren't that risky. Ross, your take very quickly, and we got to get out of here. Yeah, I would keep it. Uh... High quality, high credit quality. I think you can get good yield on some really high quality corporates or even treasuries at this point in certain parts of the curve. Um, I definitely wouldn't be extending risk here with how tight credit spreads are. So I, I tend to agree with that statement.